This is a video on the equipment of a British rifleman in the First World War. After the South African Boer War of 1899, the British Army fully adopted khaki into their uniforms. Khaki meaning soil coloured. The 1915 Brody helmet was designed to protect the head from shrapnel and debris on the battlefield. Whilst not being as protective as the German Stahlhelm, it allowed for greater visibility and manoeuvrability. It was also very cheap to manufacture compared to its German counterpart, as it was made from one stamped sheet of steel. Patties are a long cloth wound up from ankle to knee. It was used as a cheap alternative to leather. The 1908 pattern webbing was a rig of equipment for the soldier that was evenly balanced and secure. It consisted of one belt, two braces, two cartridge pouch sets each having five pouches, one water bottle, one haversack, one valise, two valise straps, one bayonet frog, one entrenching tool. Men would often go into battle with 52 kilograms of equipment. By the First World War, the British Army had adopted stripper clips. They allowed the soldier to reload his rifle five rounds at a time, rather than individually loading each round. Each ammunition pouch contained three clips, giving the soldier a total of 150. However, sometimes more rounds were carried when advancing to an enemy trench. The 1908 pattern valise was used to carry things like bedrolls, greatcoats and spare clothes. The entrenching tool was split into two parts to be easier to carry. The handle was held alongside the bayonet and the head was held in a container on the rear. The tool was simply put together when it was needed. By 1916, the average soldier carried other pieces of equipment apart from what was included in the 1908 webbing. An example of this is the early gas mask, which is a flannel hood with eyepieces and an exhale valve. Instead of using filters, this mask was soaked in chemicals before being worn. The SMLE, meaning short magazine Lee Enfield, was one of the most advanced rifles of its time. However, on paper, the German Gewehr 98 is superior as it has a greater accuracy and greater range. But this is only because the Gewehr 98 has a longer barrel than the SMLE, which is a detriment when fighting in cramped trenches. The SMLE, on the other hand, being shorter, allowed for greater maneuverability. The other large problem with the Gewehr 98 is that it had a straight bolt, which blocked the sights whenever a new round was cycled. The Lee Enfield, by comparison, had an angled bolt, which allowed the shooter to keep sights on the target when cycling rounds. The SMLE also had a capacity of 10 rounds, whereas the Gewehr 98 only had 5. The conditions on the front lines were beyond harsh for the men. Duck boards were used to travel across bombarded land. The wool uniforms did not protect the men from the cold and the artillery fire. By far, artillery was the biggest killer of the First World War.